10? No, that's been done before. Uh, tw no, that's been done by every f gaming channel out there. Uh, 21 upcoming RPGs for 2021 and beyond. Let me know if you guys discover any new ones from this list and which ones are your favorite down below in the comments. I will be covering a plethora of these. <laughs> That was good. A plethora of these games in depth on my channel, so make sure to subscribe for more RPG content. Let's get into the list. Avowed is an open world first person RPG set in the fantasy world of Aora. It'll be releasing on Xbox and PC and is rumored to have a late 2022 or early 2023 release. This game is being developed by Obsidian Entertainment, who are known for games such as The Outer Worlds, Pillars of Eternity, and Fallout New Vegas. The world of Aora is the same world that the Pillars of Eternity games take place in, but like I said before, this game will be played through a first-person perspective, giving off a bit of a Skyrim vibe. There will be swords, rune magic, and archery and the game will also likely feature an in-depth dialogue system if we go off some of Obsidian's past games. Most of this game, however, is still shrouded in mystery, but we can always pray for a gameplay trailer sometime this year. Fable is an upcoming RPG set in the green lands of Elbion, as we can see from the trailer. The Fable IP is owned by Microsoft, so it will of course be coming out on Xbox and PC, but we currently have no hint of a release date. Many are calling it Fable 4, but the mysterious trailer that was released just simply went with the name Fable. Fable is being developed by Playground Games, who are known for the Forza Horizon racing games. That's quite odd. While the first three Fable games were developed by Lionhead Studios, who are long gone. According to a 2018 Eurogamer report, Playground Games sprouted up a new studio to specifically work on an upcoming open world action RPG. So we're going to assume that that is Fable. There are rumors floating around that say that this game will have a multiplayer component but we don't know to what extent, nor do we know if it's even true. Baldur's Gate 3 is an upcoming turn-based RPG that takes place on the continent of Faerun in the Forgotten Realms Dungeons & Dragons setting. The game is currently in its early access stage with no official release date, but many are predicting 2022. PC and Google Stadia have been confirmed, but you can pre-order the game and take part in the early access on those two platforms. Consoles have not been denied yet, nor have they been confirmed, but judging by the company's history, I'd say it's likely to come to Xbox and PlayStation at a later date than the official PC release. Larian Studios is the company behind this game, and they are most known for their famed Divinity Original Sin games. Baldur's Gate 3 takes place over 100 years after the events of Baldur's Gate 2, and preceding the events in the D&D adventure campaign Descent into Avernus. The game's classes, races, and mechanics are largely based off of 5th edition Dungeons and & Dragons, and the game has a heavy focus on narrative design. You will be controlling a party of four, which also allows for up to four player co-op. Black Myth Wukong is an upcoming third-person action RPG based on the classic Chinese tale Journey to the West, which is part of classical Chinese literature. It is said to be coming out on PC and also mainstream consoles, and is planned to be released by 2023. Black Myth is being developed by a Chinese indie studio by the name of Game Science, who made the RTS game Art of War Red Tides. It appears as if we'll be playing as Sun Wukong, also called the Monkey King, who is known for his incredible speed and his ability to transform into various animals and objects. He wields a magical black iron staff that can grow in size or shrink based on its owner's commands. This game seems to combine environmental exploration and utilization, along with Souls-like combat. It looks quite intense. Dragon Age 4 is an upcoming third-person action RPG set in the beautiful world of Thetis, but this time we'll be venturing into the nation of Tevinter. It should be coming out on Xbox, PlayStation, and PC, and we're looking at likely a 2022 release, but possibly later. Dragon Age 4 is of course being developed by BioWare, who are known for many games such as all the previous Dragon Ages, the Mass Effect series, I don't want to mention Anthem. 
Star Wars The Old Republic, the original Baldur's Gate games, and much more. As the events of Dragon Age Inquisition and the Trespasser DLC threaten to forever change Thetis, it seems as if us players will be heading to the nation of Tevinter, and at some point specifically to its colorful and magical capital of Minrathus. With a Dragon Age game, we can expect to control a party of four, with companions who have deep histories and rich personalities. The game will likely focus heavily on narrative design, and with that comes player agency. And this time around, it seems as if we the players won't be quite as powerful and famous as we were when we played as the Inquisitor and in Inquisition. Who doesn't love a good underdog story? Biomutant is an upcoming third-person open-world action RPG set in an apocalyptic world filled with mutated animals. It'll be releasing on May 25th of 2021, not too long from now, and will be coming out on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Biomutant is being developed by Experiment 101, who I don't think have any previous games, but they do have an experienced team of devs. The developers describe this game as a post-apocalyptic kung fu fable game, and as you guys can see, we will be doing some kung fu as a cat. You will be attempting to save the world from a massive oil flood that rose from the ground, and apparently the choices that you make will have a big impact on the story. There will be an ambitious mutation system that changes the genetic makeup of your custom cat hero over time, giving you all sorts of mysterious powers, and the combat in this game has supposedly been compared to Devil May Cry in the past. Bleak Faith is an upcoming third-person open-world survival horror action RPG. It will be releasing on PC, but should also be coming out on Xbox and PlayStation not long after PC, and its release date is to be announced, but it was initially planned for this year, 2021. Bleak Faith is being developed by Archangel Studios, and here's the crazy part, there's only two devs. I love projects like this, and from everything I've seen so far, it's quite impressive. This game will be fast, responsive, and let's not leave out unforgiving. It definitely has a Souls-like combat system that should provide quite the challenge. You'll be able to use ranged or melee combat, go for a technomancy approach, or you can choose stealth over face-to-face -face combat. Within the Omni structure, there will be a simulated ecosystem where its inhabitants compete among themselves and the food chain, as a result, will mold to every playthrough. Crimson Desert is an upcoming open-world third-person action-adventure game set in the unforgiving lands of Pywell. It'll be releasing on PC and consoles, and according to the trailer, will have a winter 2021 release. Crimson Desert is being developed by Pearl Abyss, the developers behind the MMORPG Black Desert Online. We don't know exactly what this game will be besides that it's a third-person action adventure. It was actually first labeled as an MMO, but that has since changed and now it seems to be more of a narrative solo experience with multiplayer functions. The game's website asks, will you explore these strange new lands alone or venture into them with other players? In terms of the story, your job will be to travel to different regions, uniting them under your cause and recruiting allies, and it seems as if players will be playing as Macduff, the leader of these mercenaries. This game is one of the closest to its release on this list, and yet we still know very little about it. Dungeons & Dragons Dark Alliance is an upcoming third-person D&D-themed brawler action RPG. It'll be coming out on June 22nd of this year, 2021, and will be available on Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. Dark Alliance is being developed by Took Games, who are a fairly new studio with a game called The Live Lock on their resume, and they were recently taken under the wing of Wizards of the Coast and granted permission to make this game. Dark Alliance will be a looter slasher brawler type game, and you'll be playing as one of the famed companions of the Hall from the Legend of Drist book series. In fact, the events in the game will take place after the Crystal Shard book. It's a great book series, I highly recommend giving it a read. This game will be up to four player co-op, and your goal will be to progress through the stages, level up your character, gain new powerful abilities, and acquire new loot which can be augmented. 
This will of course then allow you to take on tougher challenges at higher tiers. This Dark Alliance is quite different from the classic ones in the past, and although it doesn't claim to be Dark Alliance 3, the studio has a lot of pressure to deliver on the famed name despite its obvious differences. Hogwarts Legacy is an upcoming third-person RPG set in the wizarding world that Harry Potter took place in. It'll be coming out on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC, and has recently been delayed to sometime in 2022. Hogwarts Legacy is being developed by Avalanche Software, who are known for games such as Rage 2 and Just Cause, and it's being published by, of course, Warner Brothers. This game will stay true to the lore of the famed Harry Potter books, but it will take place in the 1800s, which is well before our boy Harry was born. You will be going to Hogwarts in this game and choosing your favorite house, but with it being an open world game, you will not be confined to the castle walls. In fact, we got to see gameplay of the Forbidden Forest, Hogsmeade, and some other unknown locations. You will be growing your magical abilities by mastering spells and combat skills through casting, brewing potions, and even taming fantastic beasts. This game is expected to be a single player game. Forspoken is an upcoming third person action RPG set in the dangerous land of Athia. It is said to be releasing in 2022 and will be coming out on PlayStation and PC. Forspoken is being developed by Square Enix, who are of course known for the famed Final Fantasy franchise and other popular games such as Kingdom Hearts. In Forspoken, you'll be taking on the role of a young woman by the name of Frey Holland, who must harness her magical abilities to survive in a fantastical and extremely dangerous land. This game is very fast-paced, and it features gigantic beasts with a frenetic land traversal. In terms of combat, in the trailer we witnessed a magical shield, a blast ability, and a ground smash tentacle summoning power. It's quite visually stunning, let's hope it turns out good. Elden Ring is an upcoming third-person open-world action RPG set in a world created from a collaboration between From Software and George R.R. R. Martin, the author of Game of Thrones. It'll be coming out on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC, and the release date is to be announced. Elden Ring is being developed by From Software, the developers behind the legendary Dark Souls games Bloodborne and Sekiro. It will of course retain much of its From Software style with the Souls-like combat, but this time around it's going to be more of an open world game with more RPG type elements, and you're even going to be able to traverse the lands on horseback. This game, like all of the Souls games, will likely not be for the faint of heart, but those willing to set out on this adventure and defeat all the mighty bosses will walk away with a feeling of accomplishment that very few other games can offer. Elden Ring is said to have multiplayer and offer PvP, but to what extent we do not know. Whether or not it will be like the previous Souls games where you have to summon in a friend, or if it will offer an easier type of grouping co-op system, time will tell. Horizon Forbidden West is an upcoming open-world third-person action RPG that takes place in a post-apocalyptic America. This game is going to be a PlayStation exclusive, but it's important to note that its predecessor, Horizon Zero Dawn, came out on PC at a later date. This game has been scheduled for a 2021 release for quite some time now, but with everything going on, we're not sure if that year will hold. Horizon Forbidden West is being developed by Guerrilla Games, who are known for their Killzone games, and of course Horizon Zero Dawn. In this game, you'll continue Aloy's story as she moves west in a far future America to uncover the cause of a strange crimson blight which is killing off plants, animals, and tribes. This majestic but dangerous frontier is filled with technologically advanced robots that have become the Earth's dominant species. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 is an upcoming, mostly first-person, action RPG that takes place in a 21st century Seattle, Washington. It was originally scheduled to release in 2020, then 2021, but now 2021 is said to be out of the picture, so let's go with 2022. It'll be coming out on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. 
Bloodlines 2 was originally being developed by Hardsuit Labs, but Paradox Interactive, the game's publisher, recently announced that Hardsuit will no longer be leading the development, hence the delay out of 2021. In this game, you'll be descending into Seattle's dark heart as a thin blood vampire, and attempting to survive the vampire elite as various clans seek to gain ultimate power. There will be reactive storytelling, brutal combat, and of course, plenty of blood sucking. Elder Scrolls VI is an upcoming first person open world action RPG, and will likely take place in Tamriel like the previous games. There is of course no release date as of yet, and most are predicting at the minimum a couple years out, but likely more. Bethesda is of course the developer behind this game, but it's important to note that they have been recently acquired by Microsoft. With that said, Elder Scrolls VI will likely be an Xbox and PC game only. There's really no information about this game yet, apart from speculation, but it's certainly exciting to daydream about. Diablo 4 is an upcoming dungeon crawler action RPG set in the brutal world of Sanctuary. 2022 is a possibility for its release, but it could very well be later than that, and it will be releasing on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Blizzard Entertainment is the developer behind this franchise, and they are known for games such as World of Warcraft, Overwatch, Starcraft, and Heroes of the Storm. If you've ever played a Diablo game before, you know what to expect. Kill a lot of things and get loot, but this time around, it will be slightly different. Blizzard is claiming that Diablo 4 will be a shared open world, meaning you'll be coming across other players, but dungeons will be for private, solo, or party players. There will be some open world PvP that will be contained in areas called Fields of Hatred, enter at your own risk. This Diablo is being pitched as a return to the darker look of early Diablo, with even more blasphemy and profane imagery. While on this subject, I'll also point out that Diablo 2 is being remastered, and is supposedly coming out this year. Final Fantasy XVI is an upcoming third-person action role-playing game, and will take place in a new world called Valisthea. As of now, we know that it is a PlayStation console exclusive, but we don't have any details on PC. The release date is TBA, but we're told that we will be getting a big update on it this year, 2021. Final Fantasy XVI is being developed by Square Enix, who are known for many games such as Tomb Raider, Kingdom Hearts, Dragon Quest, and more. This game will be the next mainline single-player Final Fantasy title. Starfield is an upcoming RPG set in space. It'll be coming out on Xbox and PC, but there is currently no release date. In fact, we really don't know much about this game except that it's Bethesda's first original RPG in 25 years, and their first game set in space. Starfield has been being worked on for years and has moved out of its pre-production stage and is currently in a playable state internally. You will be of course traveling in space, and supposedly it's quite dangerous. Todd Howard from Bethesda toured SpaceX to help bring authenticity to the game. There were some leaked photos that made their way to the web that make the game appear as if the game will be in third person perspective, but these pictures are in no way confirmed to be legitimate. Starfield is Bethesda's current focus, so it should release well before The Elder Scrolls VI. Gotham Knights is a third-person open-world action RPG set in Gotham City. It'll be coming out on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. And unfortunately, the 2021 release date has been delayed to 2022. This game is being developed by Warner Brothers Games Montreal, who helped work on games such as Batman Arkham City. In Gotham Knights, you'll be playing solo or with one other hero patrolling Gotham's five distinct boroughs, dropping in on criminal activity wherever you find it. Batman is dead, and now it's up to the Batman family, Batgirl, Nightwing, Red Hood, and Robin to protect Gotham. Solasta is an upcoming isometric tactical turn-based RPG set in the world of Solasta. It is currently in its early access stage and will be coming out on PC, release date to be announced. Solasta is being developed by Tactical Adventures, a small, new, but highly ambitious studio. 
The game's mechanics are based heavily on Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition, which includes some of the classic D&D classes, but the world and its inhabitants are original. You will be controlling a party of four discovering a shattered world, exploring ruins and dungeons for treasure, and learning the truth of an age-old cataclysm to hopefully stop it from happening again. If you like turn-based tactical RPGs, and you like a game that stays very true to 5th edition D&D, make sure to give this one a try. Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous is an upcoming isometric RPG based on the Pathfinder tabletop game set in the world of Golarion. This game is currently in its beta and will be releasing on PC and possibly consoles in the future. Its initial release date was June of this year, 2021, but we're not sure if that will stick. Wrath of the Righteous is being developed by Owlcat Games, who made Pathfinder Kingmaker in 2018. In this game, you'll be joining the crusade against a demonic invasion and rising as a new hero. You'll be controlling a party of six, with real-time with pause combat or turn-based. The game offers both styles that can be switched on and off on the spot. Pathfinder the Tabletop and Pathfinder Kingmaker are known to have a very in-depth character development system, and it seems like there's an endless amount of classes, races, spells, and abilities that you will be experimenting with. If you like in-depth CRPGs, make sure to check out Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. And that will be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for those of you that helped me reach 50,000 subscribers. If you guys ended up enjoying this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It's a huge help to my channel. I do all sorts of videos on this channel, ranging from live streams to game reviews to game tutorials to lore videos and much more. I'd love to have some of you guys back for a future video. Until next time.